Well, we're out here trolling the channel. We're trolling some rock piles this morning, and we're just trolling the top of the of the channel. We'll go on and off the break. Some of your fish will be hanging right on the break. A lot of these fish live down the side on rock outcroppings, and they come up on top here to uh, feed when the tide's getting right. When the tide's hauling butt, uh, they're, they're not very uh, cooperative on feeding. Once in a while they will, but the main thing you want to do is you want to be going with the tide. We're getting beat up a little this morning because the tide's coming in and the wind is bucking it. So later on when it turns, we'll come back the opposite direction. It'll be a lot calmer, a lot more comfortable, but you got to take your little soaking when you're... And you'll see I was out, the last time I was out, there was about 10 boats of us trolling. Eight of them were going the wrong direction. And if you're going against the tide, you're not going to hardly catch a fish. And uh, that's one of the critical things is just knowing to go with the tide. You troll the rock piles and then you just troll the top of the channel and you go on and off. And you're just looking for fish up on top that are feeding. As that tide slows down, they'll come up on top and start to feed. And uh, that's what you're looking for. So going with the tide and you want to fish the last hour the change in the first hour ideally and then if you can couple a lunar period in there which we have today we have a tide change supposedly at 8 30 we have a lunar from 7 30 to 9 30 a major bring them up two feet charlie that's your uh that's your optimum time when you can get a tide change and a lunar feeding period together we're going to hit a few small rock piles so we always bring them up couple of feet to try not to hang them. You hung up on the rock, you're not catching no fish. So we try to just tip the top of the rock piles as we go over. 